Alright, so I have my hack mower uh, set up on Halo here. I've, he's had plenty of groundwork. He's got a great disposition, a great mind, and so he really takes it well. But biggest thing I want to talk about is I like to have a hand for the nostrils, handprint underneath the eyeball sitting right in the center. I like enough swing where they can act for it. Okay. Now he's already been trained on the rope haul through a few rides and all the groundwork, so this is going to be nothing to him. If you set up a horse to do groundwork off the, the Bozell that I have on this channel, please look it up. you got a little bit more experienced horses. You can do groundwork with this so you get the same feel. Now before I get on, I've already sacked this horse out so many times. Like I said, uh, I only got a couple rides on him. But he's so, so good at all this stuff, you know, it's not an issue. So I just want to show you the Theodore here runs behind, no different than the normal throat latch on an experienced horse. Okay, I got two fingers in here stacked where I can actually pull and swing, pull and swing when I need to. Okay, so I really like that there, and I got enough where this angle come down, and hit him on the, the bottom of the chin there. Okay, I got it away from there. Enough to communicate with him, but not enough for it because it's three quarter inch. I just wanted to put the basic foundation in. So before I get up there, I'm going to drive him because I've already done a lot of, a lot of groundwork with him. Of course, you're probably going to tell that right there. I'm just going to get his mind thinking with groundwork because the same thing I'm doing up here is what I'm going to be doing up in the saddle. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to work this one side real quick. And when I'm working horses, good, 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 okay. When I'm working with these guys, I want them to feel the equipment so they're comfortable with it before I go on. I'm not in a big hurry. Some people are in a big hurry to start horses. I like them to be comfortable. I like them to be thankful. I don't want them to be pressured and scared when they're learning. So now I'm going to move his front end around. I'm going to put the rein across the neck. On off with the rein and leg leggy. Good. Good. You got some lick of chewing going on. Pretty comfortable. And I want him to be comfortable. Okay, now I'm going to switch sides. That's for the backup. Good. Good. Releasing on each step. Good. Rum to stop. I've also got groundwork on this video with hot hands. So I'll be using hot hands because I want. My leg brushes something in here. I don't want the horse to get scared and be overreactive. So I've done a lot of homework on this horse. So I'm just kind of, can't see it, my hands bomb. Fixing and releasing, fixing and releasing, fixing and releasing, fixing and releasing my hand. Asking for a backup this time. Fixing and release, fixing and release. I'm over exaggerating more now just so you can see it, okay? Yeah. Here comes my hot hands. I'm gonna put my hand, hot, hot hands on. I'm gonna put my rein, put my hand here by the girth. I'm gonna put it on. So, hey, move that front end. Yeah, run through, stop. Yeah. Good. Put my hand, put it back here. Put it back here. This is why I like to use hot hands. I use hot hands, and there is a video on this channel. 
to show that because that's where my foot placement's going to be. I don't want to get tore up when I start riding these guys, okay? I try to put my homework in. I'm getting you long in the tooth and I like to be healthy. So my attitude is conserve and preserve. All right, I'm going to take them up to the fence. I'm going to mount them from up there so you can see it and go through the procedures. I do have this on this channel. Good. Good. Of how to do this and why to do this. You're seeing it real quick right now. Yeah, well, I'm a little bit closer to the fence. I do this with the rope halter first. Good. Before I do the, the hackamore setup, so they understand it. I've already got all the tickle spots gone. Remember, he's already got a couple rides. Now he's getting kind of like, oh, I don't know about that. So I'm going to go, okay, no biggie. Back over here. Yeah, he's bent away like a banana. I don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say you're in rub him up top of here. Okay? Rub him, rub him, rub him. Because get my other foot in the stirrup. I'm going to keep him. Kind of engaged here. Good. Good. Been a lot of open rain here, and I like to rub with the other hand for support. Now I'm going to go this side. So you see an open rain? Good. He went. Good. He went. Okay, now I'm going to ask for a little bit of forward movement. Good. I'm going to rub him. I don't I have a lot of slack and reins. The tighter you are, the tighter the reins are, the tighter horses don't get. Now I want to go to the right, so I'm going to go open rein. Take the tension out. Bump, bump, bump. Good. Right out of it. He's looking to the outside. I'm just like, nope. I want you to go this direction. Good. I want you to go this direction now. Good. Good. Now I'm going to work my way up to the wall. Nope. Good. See, I draw the slack out before I do the vibration or the bump, bump, bump. Okay? I don't want whiplash in his horse. I want him to understand through meaning exactly what I'm doing. There's really not much of a difference between a rope halter and a hackamore. So I'll be doing the exact same thing on it. Now I'm going on track nine quarters. I'm going to turn the nose to the left. Look over my left shoulder so he feels my hip. Bump, 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 rub. Let him know he did a good job there. I'm going to keep him straight going forward. With a hackamore, you only arrive one rein at a time, okay? You're going to be doing the same thing with snaffle. It's very rudimentary right now, but that's where you're getting comfort. You see, the, the ear is on my camera person there, or Kristen. And then we got a side relief. That's what I want. I don't want anything in Western. I want him to be comfortable. Good. I'm going to untrack the hind quarters. Now, if you feel a horse is going to get real raunchy, always turn into the fence. It's best game in the fence, the turn, in my opinion, because you're less likely to want to run into the damn wall. 
a lot of times when I'm first starting on doing my lunge lines, I'll always turn them in the wall. That way when I do my homework, come up here and ride, that part's already done. I'm going to untrack the hind quarters, look over my shoulder, turn in the wall, bump, 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 put in timing with the hind quarters, right off. Good. Now I haven't desensitized him enough where he doesn't understand my signals, my leg aids. Okay, still interested in what's going on the outside? We just say, hey, I want, I'd rather have you over here. Every once in a while, I'll rub him. One thing I do like to do is when I rub the front, I like to keep my hand on her if I rub the back. And then I can take the front off. Because I've noticed over time, if I just go to the back, that's why it's going to get real western. If I don't keep rubbing in the front first, let them know something's coming on nice to the back. Now I'm going to turn to the inside. Bump, bump, bump. My right leg's on, left leg's off. Rub. Let them know it's okay to ride forward now. Remember, you're trying to ride with your leg aids, ride with your seat bones, and guide with your reins. I'm just guiding with my range here. I'm not forcing anything. I'm doing a lot of recommendations, but that's it. Now I'm going to try to untrack the hind quarters. I like to teach them the, the back up. I don't have no problems with that. Some other people say, I want forward motion, forward motion, forward motion. That's all good in their book if that's what they want. This is what I'm doing. I want them to know everything and be comfortable before now I'm not asking for a stop I'm asking right into a backup I'll teach a stop later because I'm already doing it right now good rub him now we go forward now why was that so easy it was easy because I did it on the ground already was his head up in there absolutely but this is only his third ride with the human on his back ride 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 I'm going to untrack the hind quarters again, vibrate my hand, left leg on, right leg off, rotate my seat, and I'm going to straighten his head out, and all I'm thinking is back up, think, boom, 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 rub. He decided to go to the right himself, I'm not going to reprimand that, that's what he felt comfortable doing at that time, I'm not going to micromanage him, I was happy with just the back up, that's what I'm working on, I fix one problem at a time. One problem at a time. One problem at a time. I'm going to track the hind quarters. I'm going to do it back up again. Rotate my seat. Now I'm thinking back up. I'm holding back up. And I'm only... There we go. Good. Now I'm going to ride him forward while I'm rubbing him. Just want to rub him. I'll bring another on broke out here. It's got the same amount of rides as him, a mare, and show you I don't change nothing up. And now he's getting a little confused. I'm going to keep driving, driving, shake my saddle, create motion. Motion is my friend. I don't want him to stall out. Most of the time, when they stall out, something bad's going to happen. So I got to keep the motion going. I'm going to find where I can get that motion going again. There went my motion. My motion's going with me now. Doesn't matter if it's left horse or right horse, just as long as they got the motion going. A lot of people get in trouble because they'll sit and stop and not pet the horse, not do anything with the horse, and they're just standing there, and the riders think he's giving a break how good his horse is doing, and all of a sudden the horse blows up because you're too busy talking and not fiddling with your horse at the same time you're talking to somebody. So, for example, I'm right here. I'm going to have him stop, let him decide to stop. I'm still going to rub him. I'm still going. See, he's doing his own thing trying to please me. And I'm not going to discourage that. Because I can encourage, discourage, or rearrange, as Peter Campbell used to say. I'm just turning my body off. I'm going to do a doubling. What is doubling? 
doubling for a stop, remember everything's one rein at a time. So when I do doubling, a lot of you know it's a one rein stop. I'm gonna take my left hand out, vibrate and hold it there until he stops. And then I'll probably rub his forehead. My leg's off, okay? Then release it out. I'm talking to you right now at a stop and a standstill, okay? But I'm still fiddling with my horse. When you have a young horse, a colt, or an arm broke, okay? Good. I'm gonna rub them on the forehead here. You keep fiddling with them, okay? Even though they're stopped. I might just do, oh, that one he came to me. That was nice. That was very nice. Now I'm gonna ask it for over here. Take out the slack. Vibrate, bump, 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 bump. Until I can rub his head over here. You can see his right side is a lot better than his left side. There, he gave. I like that. Now I'm going to see if I get him going again. A little bit of lick of chewing. I'll wait for that real quick. That's a release. I like the release. I'm just going to support him. Now I'm going to go forward. Yeah. Now in the beginning, I like to have short iterations, okay? Now you're going to say, well, why don't you get to Western? If you look at my reins, I have my hand, kind of like English style, the rein wrap there, and that way I have a hack, okay? In bronc riding, ranch brawling, you always hold your your hack like this, okay, when they're bucket, because you're bringing it up and down in rhythm, okay? So it doesn't matter, you might have two on each side, you're going to be doing the same thing. So to answer your question, this is what I like to ride, okay? If stuff goes western, doesn't go to plan, I got a grip that I'm comfortable with because it ain't going to slide through your hands as easily. But you do what you want. I'm just telling you what works for me. I'll just tell you what works for a lot of other people doing this. Now generally, the first few rides always go well. And the horse gets more comfortable, comfortable with you being on, and you don't keep the mind engaged, there's a good possibility that one will buck maybe ride six or eight, somewhere around there. So you always gotta be constantly checking in with them, checking in with them. Okay, he gave me his rear end. I'm gonna see if I can move that front end. Nope, he lost it. <coughs> I'll check with the front end here. Oh, got a little goosey there. So I'm going to untrack the hind quarters on this right side because this is a stiff side. So I'm going to work with it a little bit more. Wait for on the back. And then I'm going to bring the front end through, hopefully. I lost it. I lost it. And we got it. Rub him. Okay? That's all I want. Good. Got a dog barking at something. Back to the outer circle. Oh, it's Dan, that's what it is. Howdy, Dan. Okay, so I'm going to untrack my quarters. I'm going to try to move the front end over. I lost it. If he doesn't get it, I'm not going to fight it because it's one more thing he's going to what? Blow up on. So you see him holding here cross-lined it. I don't want to cross-line cross main that bad, so I'm just going to reset the clock. Have him drive forward. Have him drive forward. Have him drive forward. He's just not experienced enough. I get it. Drive forward. Drive forward. I'm just going to move this nose off center of the line. I just want momentum. Oh, that was pretty good. There's only one problem with that. I didn't have what? The outside rain engaged to help him out. I'm going to untrack the hind quarters. And I'm going to use the fence this time. I'm going to untrack the hind quarters. Move the front end through. Like that, using the fence. Good. So he has understanding there. Okay. All right. Then go forward again. And I'm only going to do this for a little while. Then I'm going to get off. Do my groundwork. Once done the groundwork, I'm going to get back on. Just do the same thing. So I hope that answers the question for gentlemen how to use a a hack more in the beginning when riding okay 
If you have any more questions, just put it on the comment section and then I could add to what I've forgotten if there is anything on here. Good. Yeah. I'm gonna go over here. Good. Yeah. So this is the third ride of this horse. He's doing pretty good. And we do have a, a wonderful, wonderful visitor here today. Old Dan, our neighbor, a.k.a. Willie Nelson. They came here, a great neighbor, a great friend, and I'll zoom over here so you can see my friend Dan, so Dan can say hi to the camera. <laughs> so the horse sees him, Hola. and I'm just going to rub him through it. Did pretty good, didn't think it was a bear or anything. Now I'm going to turn him in the fence on track nine quarters. Move the front end through it, not lose that opportunity. Good, good. And right off again. Now you can't do this to every horse. This horse has a lot better brain than a lot of horses. A lot of good groundwork. Okay, he's looking over there. Dan, go forward. I'm gonna go right into this fence. Right in the fence. Have him move the front end over. We lost it. I'm going on track nine quarters. To the right. We front end through. Good. Good. Remember, the whole time, yeah, it looks like I'm pulling. I'm actually vibrating at the same time, so it's feeling what I want. I'm hinting what I want, okay? Now I'm going to do it again here to the left. On track nine quarters a little bit. Move front end through. Move front end through. There's a step. Half a step right there. All right. No biggie. I'm not going to get mad. There's a release. I like it. I'm going to do the groundwork and then help them move that front end a little bit more. And I'll come back up to the saddle and help them connect the dots. Okay. So, anyhow, yeah, I hope this helps you out. It's far from perfect, but it ain't bad. Good for him on this ride, though, I'd have to say. So now I'm going to do doubling. Remember, same as one-ring stop, but it's only with Hackamore. I'm going to do a doubling until I seat stop. Good. One at rain at a time, I take my left foot out. I got rain in the main. If the camera person over here can see all this. I got rain in the main. The head kind of moved. And then I'm just going to wiggle my saddle left and right. And I'm going to step down because we've already done our homework on up and downs, okay? Quite a few, and that's all there is to it. Now I'm going to walk him around, do my groundwork. He's got a leg cock there, nice and easy, like how it wrecks, okay? I'm just going to walk him around. I've got to give time for them to do the build up, build up, build up. And I don't want him directly behind me, but I think I have enough time to sort this out in their mind, okay? All right, so. Please hit like, please hit subscribe to my channel, and appreciate everybody out there for being good, great Americans. Take care now, you are a solution because now you gain some knowledge. Adios. Okay, so are we on? Okay, this horse is uh, is a Mustang. Did some groundwork with it before. Probably should have adjusted these before getting up here. But I'm kind of in a hurry. So when you get in a rush, things get pretty western. So we'll try to make sure that doesn't happen. Good. Good, so I got my handprint from the nostrils to the eyeball check there. I remember I just got done riding Halo. This is Kate. She's a wild Mustang. This is also only her uh, third ride. And we're going to try to get it done. Once again, all the homework was in. It was done, the groundwork, and so forth. So she's pretty calm for the most part, but she will do a cycle just like the movie The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Okay? 
she will cycle through really quick on stuff. Okay. This horse belongs to a, an Arizona Ranger, part of the mount attachment. Yes, yeah, so we're just trying to do everything right for her on this horse named Kate, this Mustang here. So we get a lot of customers here, and I'm kind of in a hurry once again, but we'll get this done. We gotta make it to the Mescal movie set for an introduction to meet one of the characters off of Yellowstone. No older feller that plays Lloyd on that show, okay? That's who we're gonna go meet today, Kristen and I. We're gonna have a good time. A lot of times Kristen and I will, will do uh, stunt doubles up there on horseback and be background actors for different TV shows and movies and so forth, okay? And uh, so we're gonna go out there and go meet. I'll post a picture hopefully with them. I'm just talking so you can kind of see what the procedures are. Now I'm just going to create forward motion movement. And I'm going to rub her and rub her and rub her. Okay. No different. I'm going to direct and guide. I'm riding with my seat, getting in rhythm and rubbing. And then I'm going to ask for a turn. Bump, bump, bump. Good. Now she's thinking about speeding up, so I'm just going to redirect the feet and say, just slow down a bit because I don't want them amping up. You can feel it through the saddle that they're about ready to amp up to take off. You give them that opportunity, they will. But normally they're not ready for you to be a passenger yet to take off. You can hear she's kind of snorting a little bit. And normally when the speed's involved, they'll take off and they'll start bucking until you get a lot of repetitions in of a lot of stuff. We just build upon each other. Okay, I'm gonna introduce my right foot. Boom, boom, rubber, cause she went off my leg aids. Remember, this is her third ride, so I'm really introducing the leg aids. Look on my shoulder, my seat goes down, bump, bump. Good, good, she ain't doing too bad with the leg aids there. I just wanted you to pull this horse out so you, the audience, can see a different horse getting ridden. This is an unbroke. This horse is 10, so it's quite a bit older than uh, that other horse, which is three and a half old halo. And I'm just riding loose. Believe it or not, a horse could feel your heartbeat four feet away from where you're standing. Okay, so if you're amped up, guess what? That horse is going to be amped up too. So you have to learn to be nice and loose to support the horse. If you get mad, the horse is going to feel that. So you can't. You got to keep everything together. Okay. Good. Wait for her to release herself. So I'm softening the body. I'm going to soften the body here. And then next time I'm going to see if I can get around the other side of the corral. I'm just going to rub her once again. I'm gonna bump, say no. This time I'm steering, I'm guiding. I am guiding. Before, I didn't guide a whole lot with the reins. Now she's looking up at something. I don't want her to sit there forever debating what it is. So I don't need her to get, I need her all her attention on me guiding, guiding. Keeping her right between my rectangle here. Good, good. She's got a shadow on the ground. She's not freaking out from. Some horses will. Okay, now I'm going to ask her over here. Look that direction. Bump, bump. Remember, I take out all the slack. Now she's died out. Good. I put my leg on. She's still good. She's still holding in a lot of pressure on herself. I can feel it. She's kind of grunting. She'll do this little whistle thing you probably can't hear on the speaker of the recording system. But her ears are moving, which is good. Okay, now I'm going to on track. I'm going to rotate my seat and see if I can do that groundwork. I'm not asking her to stop. I'm just asking her to back up. And she's going to figure out the answer right now. 
figure out the answer right now. And I'm not pulling, I'm just holding. I'm gonna rock the saddle, because remember, momentum is your friend. Momentum is your friend. Momentum is your friend. So I'm gonna create motion, if I can. And I'm not pulling, I'm just holding. I'm just holding. I'm just holding. Until she thanks back up. I, she, she, she rotated a little bit, now she's going forward. She's trying to figure out the answers why I started this on the nose on the fence. So I shut that door down. My hands are a little bit further back from the horn than I want, but good. I'm going to rub her for that because she gave a step. That's all I needed. That's all I needed right there, okay? Now it's debatable where you want to introduce backups right away. If you know you can do it. See, now her lip's kind of moving a little bit off of that. So that was a good thing. So now I'm going to untrack the hindquarters. They just ask for a backup. I'm not asking for a stop. Good. Good. Remember, I only ride one rein at a time. Might look like I'm using two, but I'm not. Okay. I might just be holding on one and engaging on the other, which is what you're seeing. So I don't, don't want you to get confused thinking, like right now, that I'm actually pulling on two. Okay. That was a slight try backwards. I'm going to reward that slice try. Going to untrack time quarters again. Open rain, open rain, open rain. Rotate my seat, and I'm just asking for a backup off my seat and off my momentum stop. Remember, I said momentum's your friend. I'm asking with my right rein, supporting with the left, but my left rein ain't doing nothing. Okay, it's the right one. I'm asking the right one to go. I don't want to stop moving because this is when they can lock up a freeze. And she's freezing right now, but she's still blinking. If they're blinking, that's a good sign. Because if they're not, they're hot. So old saying is, if they're blinking, they're thinking. If they're hot, they're not. She's just trying to figure out what I want, okay? That's what I'm reading right here. And she's a very stubborn horse. Good, good. So I brought in an audio cue. Because you remember that from the groundwork, so I wanted to show you that little tip because it actually came to mind right then when she was kind of locking up and the momentum rock the saddle wasn't working. So, I'll give her a try again. She's really giving it all. Head's lowering. I'll rotate my seat. I'm just going to ask for her back up again. Once again, I'm using the Oh, look at that. Look at that. Now, I'm really leaning forward to rub them. Because that, I'm trying to introduce my seat. I know it's early, but I like to start my repetitions right away off the body mechanics of the rider. Okay, what I'm going to be using. Okay, she's froze out, so I'm going to turn, go somewhere else. I don't want to lose that momentum. Okay. Yeah, so if you haven't checked out the Mescal movie set, movie Tombstone was filmed there. The Quick and Dead with old Sharon Stone. And what was that young man's name? Kristen? Don't remember his name. I don't remember his name either. He's got blonde hair. He's on the film with Titanic. Anyhow, he was there. DiCaprio or whatever. This shows you my ignorance on the Hollywood people. But anyhow, Tom Horn was filmed there. A lot of good films and a lot of TV shows. Now, I didn't ask for that, so I'm going to redirect it. I gave it to her because I don't want to get a fight, but I'm going to go back to the direction I want to go. Okay. I'm the one teaching her what I'm steering. Now, I've already done driving. There we go. Good. Good girl. Driving with her to turn. Okay. She's doing really, really good. Good. Then I'm going to turn in the fence. Got my leg on. Bump, bump, bump. Good. She's doing pretty good. 
and that's about as far as I'm going to do. Now remember on stopping, I've shown you what I did to introduce the backup, but for stopping we're going to do doubling. What is doubling? Doubling is the same as one range stop. All you're doing is taking the nose off the center line. I'll know another thing about that real quick. Nose off the center line, bring your hands down so you choke up on the range for range management. And all you're going to do is point that nose, your legs aren't on, and you're going to hold it until they stop. So in the hack more of the world, they call this doubling. So I'm just going to double till them feet stop. And when she stops, I'm just going to rub her. I'm not asking for her backup or anything, so she's off balance right there. So when she is balanced on all four feet, then I'm going to bring my hand down here, rub her head, and let her know that's exactly what I wanted, okay? And then I'm going to rock the saddle. I got short and rain on left. I'm going to rock the saddle because I want her to know I'm going to step down, okay? She decided to move again. I'm just going to come over here and say, hey, hey, I'm trying to be done with you, okay? So I'm going to brush her cover that eyeball if I want, come here into a half seated position, rein in the main, okay, drill, rub right here so she doesn't freak out, and I'm just going to pop on down. Good girl, good. And that's all there is to it, another demonstration done. Thank you folks.